Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Table of Contents, List of Tables, and List of Figures. Here's the scenario. You have a document with numbered headings, some tables, and some figures. And you need to add a Table of Contents, List of Tables, and List of Figures. Watch this video to learn how to do this. If you watched the captions and heading numbering videos, you saw how we created captions and added heading numbering to our documents. This document is similar in that it contains numbered headings, tables, and figures. The first thing we want to do when we want to display a table of contents is place our cursor in the document where you would like the table of contents to be displayed. I want mine at the top, so my cursor is placed at the top of the document. Now go to the References tab, and then the Table of Contents group. Click the down arrow next to Table of Contents. As you can see, there are several built-in Table of Contents. If I clicked on one, it would automatically create a Table of Contents in my document. If I click in it and I need to update the table, I would click this button here and it would display the update table of contents dialog box. It has two radio buttons, one to update the page numbers only and one to update the entire table. For instance, if you've changed any text in your headings. There's also a drop down here where you can change the table of contents or you can remove the table of contents. I want to create a custom table of contents and I'll show you how to do that. Go back into the table of contents and near the bottom of the group, select insert table of contents. Now the table of contents dialog box is displayed. In the print preview, there are four levels that will be displayed in our table of contents. If you need to adjust the number of levels, you would use these up and down arrows. If you want fewer levels, choose the bottom arrow. If you want more levels, choose the top arrow. There's also a show page numbers and write align page numbers. Since I want my page numbers to be displayed and I also want them right aligned, I'm going to leave these checkboxes checked. There's also a tab leader. It will display one of three types of leaders, a dot leader, a dash leader, or an underscore leader. I want a dot leader for my table of contents, so I will select the dot leader. There are also two buttons called options and modify. In the options button, you can see that heading one, two, three, and four have a check mark next to them, meaning those styles will be displayed in our table of contents. There is also a field called TOC level. You can see heading one has TOC level one, heading two has TOC level two, and so on. As you scroll down, you can see there are other styles available. Since there is a title in our document and I would like it to be displayed at level one, I'll go in this field and I'll enter number one. It adds a check mark next to the word title. So I know the style's title will be included in my table of contents. After you have selected all the styles you want in the TOC, click OK. Now we have the modify button. The Modify button will allow you to add specific characteristics to each level of the TOC. In order to change or modify each level, highlight the level, select Modify. So in this TOC, I would like Times New Roman. I would like my TOC number one to be 14 point. 
I would like it to be bold. And I would like my font color to be automatic, which mine is black. I would also like to click on the format button. And I want to go into the font. I want my level one TOC to be all caps. So I'll select all caps and say, okay. I want to go into the paragraph and I want to adjust the spacing between my TOC levels. I would like three points before and I would like three points after. I would also like to have a hanging indent at 0.5 inches just in case I have a heading that wraps to the next line. And I'll say OK and OK again. Now I want to modify TOC2. I want it to be Times New Roman 12 point, but I want it to be bold. I'm going to leave it in automatic font color and I want to go into the paragraph. Again, I want three points before and three points after spacing. I would like to have all of my TOC levels left aligned, so I will change this to zero. Again, I'm going to make it a hanging indent at 0.5 inches, and I'm going to say OK. And OK again. Now we'll modify TOC3. Again, we want it bold and automatic. I also want it italicized. Go into format, paragraph. I want it flush left. I want it hanging at 0.5. And I want three point before and three point after. Say OK and OK. Now TOC4. And when we're done with all the levels, we click OK. And we'll click OK again. And our table of contents is displayed in our document. Now let's create a list of tables. So in the captions group, Click Insert Table of Figures. In the caption label, select Table. I'm going to leave everything else defaulted and say OK. Now your list of tables is added to your document. I'm going to hit the Enter key. I'm going to go back into Insert Table of Figures. And I want the caption label to say Figure and say OK. You may want your TOC, list of tables, and list of figures to have a title. So for instance, at the top of my document, I may want this to say table of contents. So I will go to my home tab. And in the styles group, I'm going to select title. And I'm going to type in table of contents. I'm going to do the same thing for my list of tables and my list of figures. Now when I go back into the table of contents and I right click and say update field, say update entire table, since my table of contents, list of tables, and list of figures are in the title style, they will be added to the table of contents. And that is the end of this lesson. Table of contents, list of tables, and list of figures.